Hello and welcome to this video on the Solar Can Puck. So if you're not sure what the Solar Can Puck is, I'll hand you over to Sam Cornwell, who is the inventor of the Solar Can and the Solar Can Puck. Is this thing on? Is it recording? Yeah. Hi, my name's Sam, founder of Solar Can, and I'm here in the Scottish Borders in our workshop to tell you about Solar Can. So what is it? It's a camera, an extreme time exposure camera capable of capturing the path of the sun over days, weeks, months or years. Our mission statement is to spread the love of photography and astronomy through a type of visual art called solography that you may have heard of via simple, easy to access and affordable product. Indeed, over the last five years, our community that spans the globe has sent us in images of the sun traversing through their part of the sky and wowed us with it. So, to celebrate, we've brought out the puck. It's the same as a solar can, but it's smaller, prettier, more fun, faster, and I won't tell you any more. I'll let Melanie do the explaining. So, thank you, Sam. To explain what a solar can is, um, I'll just explain a little bit about solography. So a lot of people use their solar cans to track the passage of the sun and they do this using a pinhole camera which has a piece of photographic paper inside of it. And the paper is left um, for anywhere between one day to a couple of months. You can actually leave your solar can image up for about six months to a year. So some people leave their solar cans up from the winter solstice to the summer solstice and that means that they get the sun at the highest point in the sky and also at the lowest point in the sky and you get this really beautiful um, effect when their solar can is left out for this amount of time. So when um, a day goes by and it's quite brightly sunny you will get a line going from one side of the sky to another side of the sky um, showing the passage of the sun from our perspective on Earth. Obviously it's not uh, the sun going through the sky, it's us that are spinning and the sun stayed in one place, um, but it appears to be going through our sky. So if you do this, if you imagine over a couple of days, a couple of months, all the way up to a year, you'll get lots of different lines in the sky. When it's cloudy, sometimes you'll get a break in the line, but this can be quite beautiful if it happens over a month or up to a year. For my exposures, I used exposures of about a day um, or a couple of days, but you can leave them for much longer, you can leave them for up to a year. You don't need developer because the sun does the work of the developer for you, but you can use fixer, the disadvantage of using Fixer is that you might lose some of the uh, nice colours that you sometimes get with a solar can image. So I've made solar cans before out of things like film canisters, but solar can provides this really easy to use mechanism, which is really well made and perfectly sharp. Um, and you always get a really brilliant image. I really like solar graphs because they use the light of our star, the sun, um, and that light is directly imprinted on the photographic paper. So a lot of my work is about how light from outside of our atmosphere, outside of our planet, can affect a photosensitive material. And yeah, I find it really exciting that we can actually use the light of the sun to create an image. You could argue that we do that all the time with every photograph we take in daylight, but this is a direct uh, drawing of the sun made by a pinhole camera. Um, my cat is actually nuzzling on me right now, so uh, <laughs> slightly distracted. So previous solar cans that I've used by solar can, um, they've come in a natural beer can type thing. And that camera used a rectangular piece of photographic paper. So the solar can puck is round and it has a round uh, piece of photographic paper inside it. So the results are really unique um, and I really like that kind of circular frame. I really like Polaroid round frames and I use circles a lot in my work. Um, so yeah, I was really keen to try these out. Um, I just really like the circular image aesthetically. So thank you very much Solacan for sending me a camera. I'm really pleased with the outcome. 
Um, and I'll be continuing to take these on things like residencies and um, artist trips and things like that um, to continue making them wherever I go. And I also like the idea of leaving one up for a really long period of time. Uh, the newer solar can pucks are actually more waterproof. So I think I'll be investing in one of those. So for this video, I did quite a few exposures. I did some in my garden in Ramsgate. I did one in Falmouth um, where we didn't have any sunlight. So you get to see how that turned out. And we also did one in the back garden of the museum of uh, Sam, which is this museum is not obsolete. Um, and left that for about three or four days. So I'm gonna show you uh, some of the ways that I installed the camera and then I'll show you the results. So here is the solar can puck. You can see it's like a metal tin and it's put in place by a cable tie. And I've used a high spot which is pointing up at the sky. And you can see the result here and I see it's a bit of a cloudy day. And then this is a slightly sunnier day with the solar can puck pointing to another area of the garden. And I've put it on a slightly different hook and used a cable tie to install it. This is the results, the photographic paper, and then I've inverted it and made it into a positive. And I did this on Photoshop. You can see the result here and I think there was a light leak. This is from when I went to Falmouth. So I went to an apartment facing Falmouth Harbour, which had a great view of the sea and the sky. Unfortunately, however, it was cloudy for the whole time. So in the image, you do not see the streak of the sun. You just see a very thin image, a pinhole image of the harbour itself and absolutely no sun. So that's what happens if you don't have sunlight and why it's good to have it up for a few number of days. As well as Photoshop, you can also use the paper negative process that I also have a video on, so check that out. This is Sam installing the solar can at the Museum Is Not Obsolete in Ramsgate, and he's pointing the solar can at the sky. And this is the result in negative and then photoshopped into a positive. So thanks very much for watching. If you like this channel, you can like and subscribe. Um, and also if you're interested in learning more about photography and supporting my work, uh, you can also join my Patreon. Uh, at the moment I'm giving postcard rewards and I'm also giving a digital download every month and sometimes I make videos on there which are just for Patreons only so I highly recommend checking it out and check out my other videos on alternative photography I've been doing lots of things like caffeinol developing and um, doing things like daguerreotypes and other types of analogue photography processes so check it out and I'll be back next month